Never mind. Just come up from behind them and blow their back out. <laughs> Yo. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones season eight, eight, episode five, the second to last episode. Damn, damn. Fun fact: before I before I talk about last episode, um, I was watching this YouTube video about the movie Solo, right? And I'm pretty familiar with Solo, the movie. Like I've seen it a good amount of times, and I've seen plenty of reaction videos to it. I've probably watched it like three times, and I've probably seen like at least 20 reaction videos to it. So I'm very familiar with that movie. But something I just realized was: take a guess. Take a guess. Take a guess what you think I just realized. Okay, you got your guess? Okay, so what I realized was the girl that is Han Solo's love interest is Amelia Clark, who plays Daenerys. Like, what? <laughs> I I never would have, like, what? Like, okay, I saw Solo before I even started Game of Thrones, right? But I, I would have never connected them as being the same person. She looks so different. So, so different. I thought Game of Thrones was the first thing I ever saw her in. I was watching this video where they just kind of like break the movie down or whatever, talk about it, and they mentioned uh, her name, they mentioned Amelia Clark, and I was like, wait, she's in that movie? What the fuck? And I was like, who does she play? Because by then I know Amelia Clark is Daenerys. And I was like, who does she play in solo? Then, like, what? She was, was she in it for only like two minutes? Like, what? So I looked it up and I was like, no fucking way. My mind is blown. But anyway, so in the last episode, uh, we lost a lot again. We took a we took two major L's in the last episode. We lost a, another dragon, and we lost Miss Andy. Okay, okay. The negotiations did not go smoothly. I will say, the negotiations were not smooth. You were wrong, Master. <laughs> yeah, is this Tyrion's fault though? Because, well, he did say he wanted, he, it was his idea to go talk to Cersei, right? Which, in hindsight, wh when was that? That was never gonna work, ever. You know, but Danny, she didn't really care to go talk to Cersei. She knew Cersei was never gonna agree. She wanted to go there just, and just to go talk to her, because she knows that Cersei is going to deny it, is going to deny her, and then she can use that as an excuse to just wipe out the city, and just, to just burn down the city, and kill a bunch of innocent people as a result, but in her mind, this is justified, because she tried to talk to Cersei, and Cersei refused, so that she was left with no other option. Like, that's not what Tyrion intended at all. So, she took Tyrion's idea and twisted it into her, her own idea. Which isn't really fair to blame Tyrion for the dragon dying and Miss Sandy dying because of that. Okay, first, okay, well, the dragon dying, I'm gonna say that's Daenerys' fall because, dude, okay, I don't care. As soon as you can see King's Landing and everything, you should not be flying that relaxed around it. Like, that was, it was a good, it was a feel-good, happy moment. And she was too relaxed flying that close to King's Landing. Like, yeah, she was a little bit far away still. So maybe, but like, still, you got to know they're going to have the Ironborn ships out somewhere in the sea. Like, just because you can't see them, you know, like they were hiding behind those rocks. And it's like, mm, she probably should have been flying a lot higher or something. I don't know. Regardless, she should not have been that relaxed flying that close. Like, dude, but when that dragon died... Oh my god, that was so shocking. That felt like my goddamn dog just died. That's how shocking it was. I would say, actually no, I would say it was it was a collective failure between everyone because we were too relaxed flying that close to King's Landing on the dragon, Daenerys was, and everyone in the ships, I mean, you can't really do too much from the ships, honestly. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure, like, where were we just supposed to be going to Dragonstone? Like, I know Dragonstone's really close to King's Landing, but, like, if we're supposed- I, I thought we were. I, like, I didn't mention it, but I thought we were going to Dragonstone. Why would you even sail that close to enemy territory? Like, stay as far away as you can as you sail by. Like, I don't know, whatever. We- they went to Dragonstone anyway, after they just got ran up on, so, okay, whatever. Um, John's on his way too with the Northern Men. See now, what's the move now? I think um, I think we just wait for John to get the Dragonstone, unless the yeah, yeah, Cersei just sends her army in like the Golden. What do they call the Golden Cloaks? And the Ironborn to a Dragonstone. Like she should honestly probably just do that. 
Like, I know that there's still a dragon at Dragonstone, but, like, dog, we can take him out. Like, we can now, okay? We have a lot more arrows than I thought we... I thought we just had one. I thought they just had one, okay? No, they have, like, ten. So, if you're firing ten at once, yeah, you have a good chance of taking out the dragon. So, if I were Cersei, I would have just told the Ironborn, Ironborn to follow them to, to Dragonstone and... I would have sent as many more as I possibly could have to go take them out while we can, you know, before they get their reinforcements and everything. And then Varys made a, he made a, he made his choice, basically. He made his choice by saying he does not choose Daenerys. She is unstable. She would not, probably not be a good leader and everything. He chooses Jon. Tyrion's conflicted. I feel like half of him really believes in Daenerys, but then the other side of him understands her flaws. You know, like how aggressive she is when some, sometimes she doesn't need to be and how ruthless she is like that. It's a blessing and a curse. She needs to balance it like John. John can do both, dude. John can do both very well. John literally had hit the people from the Night's Watch who, who colluded to kill him. He had them all hung. So it's like he can kill people if he really has to. You know, they crossed him and he had him killed. So... And he cut that other, other dude's head off because he was disrespecting him. I forget his name at this moment, but this was back in season five, I want to say. He cut that guy's head off because he was disrespecting John. Like, John was like, you're going to go somewhere over here, basically just get fucked over here. And this guy was like, no, I was in King, I was in King's Landing before I came here. I would not go there. And John's like, all right, let's get, let's take this to the backyard, dog. And then cut his head off. <laughs> So John, John can be ruthless when he needs to be, but only when it's necessary is, I feel like is the difference. So, and like the fact that Daenerys is willing to burn down half the city to kill Cersei and take the city to take the throne, kind of things, varies kind of sees as like, well, what makes her different from the Mad King? What makes her different from like Cersei herself too? Like, and I'm pretty sure Varys implied to Tyrion that, yeah, we're gonna try and have her killed or something. Cause like, he just gave Tyrion like this weird he gave him the look and Tyrion's like no no you can't you can't so I'm pretty sure that's what that implied so yeah I can't I can't wait to see what happens so anyways I'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on Patreon as well early access to the next one episode I almost said two <sighs> the last episode will be available on Patreon so let's get started what is she she hasn't seen anyone since we returned. She hasn't accepted any food. Yeah, bro. Do you know how gutted she must feel after losing her dragon and Miss Andy? Oh, yeah. And Jamie's on his way. That's right. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm going to be... Jamie's going to be so conflicted. Does he choose Cersei or does he choose John and Danny? Whose side does he choose? I'm calling it right now, okay? Probably in the next episode, I'm going to say Jamie's the one to kill Cersei. I feel like that'd be so good. They mm. say every time a Targaryen is born, the gods toss a coin and the world holds its breath. Mm. That's her decision to make. She is our queen. Men decide where power resides, whether or not they know it. Yep. You said that before. Mm. All I've That's ever bad. wanted. The right ruler on the Iron Throne. I still don't know how her coin has landed, but I'm quite certain about yours. Mm-hmm. <sighs> tell him. Put a lot on John, dude. I don't want it. I never have. I have known more kings and queens than any man living. What I tell you now is true. You will rule wisely and well while she... She is my queen. Yeah, it varies. This is low-key treason. Like, you're risking telling John here. Bro, are we really just trying to peer pressure John into taking the Iron Throne? There's something you need to know. Someone has betrayed me. Yes. Varies. Yeah. John Snow. Varys. Yeah. He knows the truth about John. Because you told him. You learned from Sansa. So I begged him not to tell her. It was a mistake. How many mistakes are you going to make? You think Sansa told you? What do you think she hoped to gain? She trusts me. No. She planted a seed in your head. She's learning from... She learned from Littlefinger, dog. To spread secrets that could destroy your own queen. Mm-hmm. And you did not let her down. We wanted what you want, a better world, all of us. But it doesn't matter now. Oh, he knows he's about to... wait. No, 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 no. He knows though they're gonna kill him. He, he looks so sad. 
truly I do. I hope I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. We're betting against Danny. Goodbye, old friend. Damn. Oh, Tyrion won't even look. Mm. Damn. I feel like you're really close to the flame, like, Daenerys, everyone... Damn. Okay, for real though, that dragon would have burnt off everyone's hair standing in front of that dragon all like over their hair. Whatever. Anyway. Damn! <laughs> Harvey. Yeah, we got two episodes to kill off as many as we possibly can. <laughs> what should I say would happen if you told your sister? I don't want it. And that's what I told him. She betrayed your trust. She mm. killed Varys as much as I did. Mm. This is a victory for her. It would slowly break apart everyone inside. Far more people in Westeros love you than love me. I don't have love here. Well, maybe you should go and earn it. But you can still earn the love from the people. Like, I mean, if you kill half the city, then, like, no. All right, then. Oh, my God. I didn't be fair. Better than nothing, I guess. No. Resist Cersei will see his family butchered. Can't expect them to be heroes. That's what she thinks our mercy is weakness, our mercy towards future generations. He will never again be held hostage by a tyrant. But how can you prove that if you burn out half the city? <laughs> like, they're not gonna believe you. But if they know the war is lost, give them that chance. If the city surrenders, they will ring the bells and raise the gates. Please, if you hear them ringing the bells, call off the attack. Also, I feel like Tyrion's also trying to prevent this. Because it's King's Landing, you know, that's, that's where he's from, pretty much. You know, it's his home. It's personal to him. He, he doesn't want to see it burn to the ground. He doesn't want to see the people like that, just people in the city just die like that. Your brother was stopped trying to get past our lines. It seems he hasn't abandoned your sister after all. Be the last time you failed me. No, no, Jamie, no, 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 no. Here's what's going to happen. Jamie's going to go in there. Being like he's cool with her say and everything and he's he's gonna be the one to kill her. I'm saying I'm, t I'm calling it right now He's gonna do the right thing and kill her. He knows he has to do it He knows he's the only person who can get close enough to to her who who can do it And like yeah, also in Tyrion in season 2 episode 9 He had a battle here that he defended the city and everything now he's attacking it he wants Danny to win, but he doesn't want the city to absolutely burn. Where are you going? I'm going to kill Queen Cersei. <laughs> or Arya could be the one to do it. But I think it would be better if Jamie did, personally, for the story. Jamie captured again. How did they find you? <laughs> You're going back to her. To die with her. No, I was going to go snake her. He's going to die. Unless you can convince her to change her course of action. Nah. Oh. Dude, Tyrion. <laughs> Danny finds out you're gonna- I haven't been able to convince Cersei of anything. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I know it better than anyone. It will fall tomorrow. Oh, I suppose I'll die tomorrow, if not before. Why? The two of you, together, keep the dragon skulls beneath the Red Keep. Sail out of the bay. If the winds are kind, you'll make it to Pentos. Start a new life. It's the Iron Fleet and into a new life. <laughs> there won't be an Iron Fleet for much longer. Do it. I feel like it's still very unrealistic. He's just trying, trying to get Jamie to go and talk to her. Give the order to ring all the bells in King's Landing and it will be our signal that the city has surrendered. I'll try. Your queen will execute you for this. Yeah. Maybe she'll show mercy to the person who made that possible. Tyrion, <laughs> since you've been hand, nothing you've come up with has worked, I feel like. For you, I never would have survived my childhood. You were the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. You were all I had. Oh, It's a good moment, but it's, it's been the last time they see each other, probably. Most likely. 96% sure. Tyrion's, he's risking a lot. Respect how much he really wants this to be a peaceful surrender, which... But there's going to be bloodshed regardless, I feel like. Oh, dude, if fucking Euron kills Jamie, I will... I will turn this episode off. 
I will be so mad. Bro, okay, since the Hound's here with Arya, I think the Hound's gonna have to fade the Mountain. And I don't know who wins that, to be honest. That might be Clegane's death. I love how they're, work they're helping each other now. I love that. If you hear the bells ring, they've surrendered. Call off your men. This might be what, John's like, fifth big battle? <laughs> oh, Jamie can't get in now. Yeah, he should know the city pretty well, I'd imagine. He could find his way there. Mm, there's so many arrows, though. Bro, you better come in hot. Come in hot and burn. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Before you can even turn it. Oh, miss, miss, miss. Oh, thank God. Okay, miss. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! Get waxed. Hiran's not dead though. He jumped off that boat. Do you imagine the dragon just fly around and burn everyone in front? Because they're all perfectly aligned. That's probably what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness. Never mind, just come up from behind them and blow their back out. Oh, RIP horse. RIP horsey. Dude, the Darth Raki, oh my god, I love it. I love seeing them fight so much. Oh my god. Like, it's all it's looking like it's almost too easy, honestly. All we need is one good ship. The scorpions have all been destroyed, your great. The Iron Fleet hold Blackwater Bay. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> your Grace, the Iron Fleet is burning. <laughs> The gates have been breached and come. Our men will fight harder than cell swords ever could. No, they don't no, they can't. Not not against the Darth Raki. The Red Keep has never fallen. It is today. It won't fall today. Oh yes it is. <laughs> she has she has false confidence. She, she she I know she does not believe that herself. What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> you really want to do this? Surrender. We'll give you one chance to surrender right now. You really want to do this? Yeah, no, they don't. Look at them. Like, as a viewer, I definitely want to I definitely want to see the city get burned and them just run up on it, but... Surrender. Come on. Mm. Uh, yep. I knew it. Smart. Smart. Yeah, well, what was he saying? How the... How they'll fight harder than anyone ever to defend their queen? Yeah, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> She's delusional, bro. <laughs> yeah, ring the bells. See, Cersei's all the way up there. Why didn't the dragon just fly by and just, like, take the top off? Like, if you really want to, you know? Like, what's stopping that? What's stopping her, Danny, from doing that on the dragon? Yeah, Danny can hear them saying ring the bells. They want to. They want to surrender. So give them the chance, Danny. Give them the chance. I mean, can't you hear them? I mean, it sounded like, it seemed like they were implying that she heard them. I heard everyone saying it. Maybe not. She's pretty high up. Was no one up there to ring the bell? <laughs> or like Cersei give... Oh. I feel like Cersei said specifically never to ring the bell no matter what. But someone just did it anyway. Based on like the way Cersei was watching. Yeah, like her reaction too. Yep. All right, all right. We won, Danny. Too. Okay, we. Okay. Anything you do from this, if you do more than you from here, okay, Danny. If you do more now, more damage. That's unnecessary. Except to the Red Keep. Fuck everything. That's. But anything to like the city, that's unnecessary. Oh no. Yeah, get the Red Keep. I don't give a shit about that. Not, not the city right here. No, not this part. Yeah, we're coming right for her. <laughs> and Cersei knows it. Honestly, they should, from Cersei's perspective, they should have had some scorpions within the city, you know, on some roofs. That would have been pretty smart, I feel like, but. Danny. 
Danny, no! This is unnecessary! This is unnecessary! Oh my fucking god, I don't agree with this, no. Oh, my brother's calling me. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking A, Grey Worm. No, we didn't have to fight them right here! Yeah, we don't need to fucking fight them right now. Grey Worm, we don't. Oh my god, just, I mean, the fact that Danny kept going, uh, told, that was a, you know, confirmed the Grey Worm, okay, we're still going. But, like, uh, it's unnecessary. I mean, do you, oh my god, that was brutal. I mean, oh my, oh my god. That was like four things in a row. They just got worse and worse. Um... I mean, do you really trust the Lannister army to surrender? Like, legitimately, they could just be like, yeah, we're done, and then snake you. Doubt it, but you kind of have you have to consider that, at least. But, like, Kenny, I don't agree with this at all, dude. Dude, my brother just walked in my room and he just gave me this. <laughs> like, thanks. If I'm not going to open it now, but if this was the beginning of the episode, I 100% would. Yeah, Cersei is just... She's shaking, dude. Cersei knows what's good. Okay, yeah, Danny, this is so overkill. Oh my god. We did not need to do this. Dude, imagine if we had all three dragons. Oh. Damn. Kill oh my. We don't need to kill the civilians. Like, ugh. dude, no, not the daughter and her mom. The civilians don't deserve this, dude. Not, not even close. Oh, like Danny, you are literally what you said you will never be. Like, come on. Yeah, John does not think this is okay, dog. Like, no. Yes, John. Oh my god. Oh, John had to, dude. He had to. Because he wasn't just going to kill that girl. He was going to... I don't want to say the word because I don't like saying it. But you know. You know. Yeah, John definitely does not agree with any of this. Like, like once they surrendered, it's like... that. We oh, just coming from... Oh. Oh. Okay, this you could have totally have done. That, that I would not have been mad about at all. Kingslayer! Then, oh my god. Maybe for you. If you kill another king before you die, I'll be about you forever. You know, king. Yeah, I was about to say, like, he... no, you're... no. And I fucked the queen. Yeah, but I don't think you're married to her, so technically not. But, like, you're not worthy to be a king, not even close. I'll bring your head to Cersei so you can kiss her. All right, Jamie, this is a fight of your life right here. Dude, Jamie, just hit him with your fucking gold, your metal hand. Like, do you know how bad of a strike that would hurt? Do you know how bad of a strike that would be? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Just like that, dude. Probably broke his fucking jaw from that backhand with that, with your hand. Stab him in the back, please, please, please. That's that Jamie's gonna die. Safe here any longer. The Red Keep is the safest place in the city. The oh, she's she's out of it. She's out of it, dude. Yeah, she knows. She knows. She's broke. We broke Cersei. We broke her. The wild wait, wait there's wildfire? Oh, I didn't know about that. Dude, don't kill Jamie like this, dude. This, I would be, I, I'm, I'm not gonna be happy with this death if this is how Jamie dies. Oh! No. Yes! Fucking waxed. That's death for you, and Jamie's been. I'm not looking for you. Yes. Yes. This one felt good. 
Okay, don't get me wrong. Jamie's definitely injured. He might bleed. But I got you. Yeah, but I'm not dead. <laughs> I got you. I'm the man who killed Jamie Lannister. Nah, nah, there's no way. Um, Jamie could definitely die, like, in a little bit. Yeah, you guys need to get out of here. This shit's gonna collapse right on you. Go home, go. Fire will get her. Or one of the Dothraki. Yeah. Doesn't matter, she's dead. And you'll be dead too if you don't get out of here. You come with me. You die here. Yeah, oh yeah. Right. The hounds accepted his death. If it means, you know. No. Thank you. Damn. Yeah, Arya. She couldn't accept her death. She knows, and she's like, alright. Oh. Oh. Okay, I mean, like, I guess. I guess. Oh, if the. Oh, Clegane's gonna fight his brother. Yep. Hello, big brother. Sir Gregor, stay by my side. Sir Gregor, I command you. Yeah, he's going anyway. He's going in. Oh my god. Damn, I, I kind of like them, not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. Oh, uh, uh, he doesn't care about Cersei. He just wants his brother. Damn. Dude, I will say, I will say, the shots in this are very good. I am enjoying that a lot. Oh, oh. Oh my god, bro, he looks like fucking Darth Malgus. That's you. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, not really, but like... <laughs> Damn, we've never seen Cersei like this before. Scared. This is nice. Oh, Jamie's here. Please, please be the one to do it. Uh, I mean, I, in, okay, this case, she's happy to see Jamie. She's extremely happy. I thought if he like pulled up when before all this happened, it would have been it would be, it would have been totally different, of course. But now, yeah, they're happy to see each other. I love her. He goes, I love you, and then stops her. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. I'm just throwing out. So I'm just throwing out everything I'm thinking of. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, bro, that has to kill him. Oh, no, uh, bro, no, fucking, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, just a flash wound, um, bro, that went all the way through him out his back. I don't care how deformed, how big he is. No, I should have killed, like, like he's still human at the end of the day. Oh, I love the parallels, how they're both losing right now. Take my hand. Oh. Take my hand. Oh, you lovely lady. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's the girl with the kid. Ah. Knife, knife, knife. Ah. Yes. Uh, it's not doing shit. Bro, get him like in the side of the head. Fucking like, God. <laughs> For real though. Like literally get him in the eye. Oh no, 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 not like over here, not like over here. No. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Fuck. Okay, the hound's definitely fucking blind after that, at least. I just broke his fucking corneas and his retinas. Oh, he has one eye. Dude, no fucking- No, that's in your brain! <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, they're both gonna die. Oh, and, he, and they land in the fire. Oh my god. The mountain pushed him in the f pulled it oh, in the fire as kids, and then he t tackles the mountain, his bigger brother, in the fire to kill him. Wow. You know what? I'm happy with that. But yeah, the mountain didn't like push him in the push the hound in the fire. He like held his face. That's what I meant. Yeah. 
Like, Daenerys is gonna kill us too, dog. Like, there's literally no, there's gonna be no city left. She probably burnt the Iron Throne too. Like, that shit's probably a crisp. No. Oh, that person's face. I mean, honestly, the Iron Throne's probably fine. Like, it's probably still standard. <laughs> Oh wait! Oh, oh! There, she's she didn't die. Okay, she didn't die. You can't stay here. You have to keep moving. Bro, they're gonna the John people are gonna kill us. You know. If you stay here, you'll die. We're gonna die regardless, cause John's the Northern men are killing everyone anyway. I mean, if Arya is there, I guess not. But like, I like without Arya, I probably would have stayed in that room too. <laughs> Dothraki don't know Arya. They're just gonna kill anyone they see. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Make sure she lives. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> the dragon, no, it's gonna get both of them. Fuck. Oh, that's. Oh, I love that. That's great. I want our babies. Don't let me die, Jake. Please, don't let me die. I. Don't look away. Don't look. Look at me. Just look at me. Is this the moment? Oh no, is this it? No! <sighs> Damn. How did Ori survive? Whatever. Oh, great, a horse. How does this horse survive? Like, for real? <laughs> like, what? Yep. <laughs> All right, well, that was season eight, episode five. Okay, okay. Why did Danny do that? Why did she do that? Like, she did not have... Dude, she could have stopped. She got way too carried away. Way too carried away. Way too carried away right there. She should have stopped when the bells rang. Like, the moment it showed her, like, on the dragon, when the bells were ringing, and she was kind of, like, you know, contemplating what to do next, I was like, all right, she... Yeah, no, she, she's doing it. And... I don't think she should have because I feel like it goes against everything she stood for to be honest like that kind of that kind of like that annoys me to be honest that annoys me honestly she wanted to give everyone peace you know she wanted to make sure no one ever ruled in tyranny ever again like something inside of her just broke and then she just went off and let out all this emotion she's been bottling up she showed strength by doing what she did leading up to like s season seven in my opinion like she showed emotional strength well uh, okay then actually also when she was talking to john she was like the people don't love me they only fear me and so she was like fear it is i guess you know so that's probably when she decided she was gonna do it just burn the city down and everything and well now now this makes her no different from cersei from the mad king from all the tyrants before her like that did shit like this like come on and another thing i want to talk about is jamie right so jamie and cersei died i mean i thought it was i thought it was nice how they died together you know think okay but now like thinking about it it kind of i'm kind of mixed feelings on that now because i thought it would have been i thought at first i thought it was a nice death being crushed together i guess like at least nobody else killed them you know i feel like the show writers didn't want another character to kill them so they had them die from the collateral damage of what danny was doing so the entire build the entire thing just collapsed on them right instead of having like a character kill them because who would you really have kill them i guess like i personally i would have had jamie kill cersei because you know he's still obviously he's still in love with her and everything but he knew it was the right thing to do. And then like, let's say he killed her and then the entire thing like collapsed or as it was collapsing, he killed her, you know? I guess there'd be no point to killing her then if it's gonna collapse anyway, but like, I don't know. I just really wanted Jamie to kill her because I feel like that would have completed his character arc, you know? But I feel like this way kind of ruins his arc because 
you know, he, he would have done anything for Cersei in the beginning. And then, you know, then slowly over the show, he's turning, he's becoming a better person and everything. And then, like, he literally left Cersei to go fight in the North because he knew this war was greater than her and everything. Like, and then he goes back to her right now to die with her, though. Like, mm, like the when he walked out on her, I thought that was like him. I took that as like him being like, no, I'm done with her. I'm done forever. You know, like, you know, I'm choosing to leave the woman I love to go help fight a war to save everyone living right now. You know, I, f I thought it was like that. But then, but then, yeah, he knew Danny was going to go to King's Landing and that was probably going to kill Cersei. So he saw that. So he knew he only had like one last moment to see her ever again and everything. It just feels, it feels off to be honest. And like, I don't want to just shit on the show. You know, I'm trying to like, think of a perspective where, okay, it makes sense. So like, I mean, I guess Jamie did it out of love. Like deep down, no matter how much of a better person he becomes, no matter how much of his arc progresses, he's always gonna love Cersei, no matter what. As much as he tries to like run from it, it's always gonna be there and he just can't escape it and everything. I don't know. But one thing I will say that was fantastic about this episode was the visuals. I had a lot of fun watching the visuals and everything. I thought that was amazing. Like that, no complaints from that at all. I'm not even trying to complain about like Jamie or anything in his arc. I'm just saying like why I think it probably could have been better. I still enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I still had a lot of fun watching this episode. I'm not saying like, oh, this is garbage. Like, oh, this is trash. Like, no, I personally, I had a lot of fun. Oh, my SD card filled up. So anyways. Comment down below what you thought about this episode, down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.